Hey everyone, and welcome back to my channel, or welcome to my channel if you're new here. For today's video, I'm going to be doing a huge cleaning video. It is cage cleaning day, which means that it is time to clean all five of my cages and just clean this room and just do a lot of cleaning, basically. It's just going to be one huge deep clean video. It is a mess in here. I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys sort of the before look, but it is definitely a mess, so we've got a lot of work ahead of us, but I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the state of this room. So this is what we're working with. All of this over here is actually clean laundry that I have picked out for all the cages. So I went ahead and decided what hides and like fleeces and everything that I'll be using in all of the cages. This way when I'm cleaning them, it'll be a lot easier. I don't have to start like thinking about color schemes and everything. I've already picked it all here for all the cages. Obviously, my desk is a mess. That's also another issue that I may or may not be tackling today. Um, and then obviously the thing that will need the most cleaning, the cages, everyone is looking okay because I did do spot cleans last night, but the fleece itself is definitely getting dirty. There's a lot of pee pads, a lot of bath mats, stuff is getting wet. It's definitely time to do a clean. Boys need to clean as well, especially Waffles. He's the messiest. And then I also want to work on the floor. Every week the floor looks like this and every week I try to stop it from looking like this and it doesn't work, especially the closet. Closet floor is looking really, really rough. Um, in my last video, I did improve my organization here, but as you can see, I still have so many highs that they literally still cannot fit. So I'm not really sure what the solution for that is there, but that's that right there. And then I'm gonna have to clean all of this, but first I'm gonna start with the cages as always. I like to start with the cages and then work my way down to the floor. So I'm gonna go ahead and just get to cage cleaning.
So now all of the cages are completely clean. I'm literally sweating. I was like rushing to get them done, but everyone's cage is clean. Everyone's water bottle is clean. Food dishes are clean. Everyone is all good. It's just um, this now that we have to work on. This is why I do the cages first because the cages will create more mess on the floor, but the cages are all clean now. I'm happy with them and it's time to move on to this. So now that the room is all clean and organized, it is time to set up my brand new pet camera. I just wanna say a huge thank you to today's sponsor, SwitchBot, for sending me this camera. This right here is the pan and tilt camera, and you can actually control it remotely through an app on your phone. The camera can be placed on a table or a shelf, or you can even actually install it into the ceiling. I was going to do this option, but I didn't feel comfortable drilling holes into my rental apartment. But for those who own their own home, this is a really great option to install the camera into the ceiling and be able to see a huge amount of your room. Setting up the camera was super easy as well. I decided to download the app, make an account, and connect the camera to my account using my Wi-Fi. Once I set my camera up, it was super easy to monitor my guinea pigs. I could actually make the camera pan across my entire pet room from my phone which is super super nice I've had a lot of difficulty in the past finding cameras that have a wide enough view to see my entire room but with the pan feature on this camera I don't have to worry about that at all I also really like that on the app I could actually create different rooms to sort of make a smart home so this allowed me to organize different cameras or different smart products in the categories and then scroll across those categories to see my different rooms the camera also sends me notifications whenever it detects movement. And if you install an SD card into the camera, it can record and store past movement footage as well. It's honestly such a comfort to be able to monitor my guinea pigs when I'm out of the house or out of town and SwitchBot makes it super easy to do. I can actually record and take photos through the camera using the app. And there's also a feature where I can speak through the camera talking to my phone remotely. The camera also has a night mode, which allows me to easily see what my piggies are up to at night. I love to be able to spy on them when I'm out of the room or out of the house or out of town and just see what they're up to, make sure everyone's doing okay, sort of check in. And I love that with this camera, I can do that super easily from my phone. I can pan across the entire room and the quality is really good as well. I can clearly see all of my cages. 
All in all, this is one of my favorite pet cameras that I've ever tried out. The setup was one of the easiest I've done and the app is super easy to navigate and I love the room's function. SwitchBot also has a ton of other smart devices such as thermometers that I was able to also integrate into the app and sort by room, which was super, super cool. And there are a ton of more products out there that they have as well that can help you turn your pet room into a smart pet room. All right, everyone, it is time to show you guys the fully cleaned, finished, and I feel like very cool room. I'm actually super excited about all of my little switch bot additions. So I actually have my main camera up here and it can see pretty much all of the cages and it can pan the whole cages as well, which is actually really nice because as you can see, my room is not very long. It's sort of very narrow so it's hard to find a camera that can see the entire room so it's like that this one can actually pan from side to side so we can get all of the cages even though the room is not very deep and then i also have a little thermometer up here which is really nice my apartment actually does not have a digital thermostat it's one of like the sliding ones so sometimes it's kind of hard to tell like what exactly is the temperature in my house so this is really nice. I can actually see this on my phone as well through Bluetooth, which is actually super exciting. I didn't think I was ever gonna be this excited about a thermometer, but it's really, really cool to know the temperature because sometimes I get a little scared that it's too hot or too cold and I don't have any way of actually knowing since my thermostat is not digital, but now I can actually know the exact temperature in the pig room, which brings me to the other thermometer over here. So I briefly set this up today. I've been meaning to set it up for a while, but this is actually a reptile lamp made for reptiles, but I'm going to be using it in Stardust Cage to help her absorb more vitamin D. So she's going to be able to get vitamin D from this lamp and that vitamin D will help her process and absorb more calcium, which will benefit her satin syndrome. So I'm super excited to have set up this lamp. It was my vet's recommendation to get one. And so I finally done it. Um, I've had these grids here, which it is clamped onto in order to sort of make sure it doesn't fall into the cage. And then I also have it set up on a timer over here. So I got a mechanical timer. So it'll be on for 12 hours and then off for 12 hours, which will be perfectly nice. So I don't have to ever have to worry about turning it off and on if I'm not home. And then even more exciting, I have a teeny tiny thermometer right back there. And that is also from SwitchBot. And that is also connected to my phone, which is actually super exciting. I feel like so fancy having all of these like Bluetooth things in my guinea pig room. I literally feel like so fancy with everything. So you can see in her cage right now, it is 74. So the reason I really wanted to monitor this is because I don't want it to get too hot in this area of her cage due to the lamp. She does need the lamp for the vitamin D absorption, but also I wanna make sure she's not you know, overheating in her cage. So that thermometer is gonna be super, super helpful to monitor that. And I think this is a great place for this lamp. She's actually, I'm pretty sure in this pile. Yeah, she's under all this hay right now. She's actually in this pile of hay. This is where she spends pretty much all of her day in this pile. She hardly even uses her other hide. So she's going to be getting tons of vitamin D from this lamp. So I'm so excited. It turned out actually really well. It wasn't too difficult to set up. So I'm happy with that. And then obviously everyone's cages are clean. So also that is nice, but the carpet is what I'm actually the most excited about because my carpet has not looked this clean in actually weeks. Obviously there's still a couple pieces of hay on it, but this is the cleanest it's definitely been in weeks. And I also did a little bit of reorganizing. So I'm now going to be keeping my dirty laundry under this table. I did keep it in my closet, but since I have extended this cage a couple weeks ago, the entrance to this closet is like super, super narrow. And I was having a really difficult time moving these giant tubs in and out of the closet every week. So I decided they will do best underneath that table. And then I moved all of my clean laundry into the closet. This is also better because as you can see, I keep my clothes in my closet and it's really kind of gross to have my dirty laundry, the, the dirty pig laundry underneath my clothes. So it's nice to have all of my fresh laundry here. So fresh laundry, fresh laundry. We've got pee pads in here, pee pads in there, pee pads in here. And then obviously we have my shop back in this corner and then all of my hides, which are right here. I kind of want to get a second one of these and then put it 
right here. I feel like I'm not really using this space for my pants. Like I don't even know what pants are actually here. So I'm thinking maybe a second one of these. My only concern is how much weight this shelf here can hold, but I feel like it would be nice to just have all of the hides organized straight across here. But for now, um, we're kind of making it work with up here. I'm making them fit. This is definitely nice and beneficial for holding all of them. And obviously right here I have my uh, 50 pound box of hay. I actually really like the having the hay in the closet. If you guys will remember, I used to have the hay underneath that table over there. Um, and it was just like hard to pull it out from under the table and the box was too tall to fit. I had to like cut it in half. This is so much better. It fits perfectly in the closet. And when the hay gets messy, at least it's in this area instead of like tracking all over the room. So I'm honestly really pleased with my reorganization. I've been rewriting this room for weeks and weeks and weeks, months. Every time I clean, I'm like, I feel like there's something better I could be doing. And I feel like I've done it. I feel like this is a good layout for all my stuff. So I'm super pleased with it. And like I said, I'm super happy with my camera. I might actually install a second one over there. I'm not really sure. I had one there before and it couldn't see the bottom cages, but this camera can see the bottom cages. So I'm thinking maybe a second one to better see the top cages would be nice. But overall, I am super, super pleased with how clean the room is and my cute little fancy upgrades. So that was all that I have for today's video. I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe to see more of my content. Hope you guys enjoyed this huge cleaning vlog and I will see you again next week. Bye-bye.